Good evening, everyone. Plenty of reasons to expect a compelling contest tonight here on the French capital, Paris. We're at the Pacte Pass. I'm Derek Ray, and my commentary partner here on the gantry is the former Arsenal and West Ham player, Stuart Robson. And a lot to be excited about, because coming up for you, action from Liga. It's Paris Saint-Germain, and they take on Stade Brestois. Well, Derek, we can talk about coaches and their methods, but it's now down to the players. Which ones are going to stand out? Who will affect the game? And who will have the greater desire? It should be a cracking game, though. Introducing the Paris Saint-Germain starters. Gianluigi Donnarumma stands between the posts. Marquinhos plays alongside Lucas Hernandez in central defence. Vitor Ferreira starts alongside Marco Verratti in the engine room. And in this tactical setup, they have just the one player in attack. And introducing the visitors' lineup today. Well, they're also playing in a 4 3 3 formation, but they play it in a slightly different way, particularly in the wide areas, where their fullbacks will get forward and rotate with the wingers at every opportunity. And now they get the ball rolling. Manuel Ugarte. Draxler. Verratti. In it goes. An early goal. No wonder they're celebrating. Well, here it is again, and just look how he turns away from his marker and then gets his shot away. That's a very good goal, you have to say. So the match has restarted, 1-0 here. Del Castillo, high quality defending. Well, a really good run. Well, that's as good a challenge as you're likely to see. Draxler. Gonzalo Ramos. Textbook closing down, and now they're on the attack. Mata. Not the pass he had in mind. Plenty of support here. This could be the equaliser. But oh, what an important save. How about that? Well, at least he hit the target, but he should really beat the keeper from there. They should be level now. Played over, and the keeper won't be complaining about that corner kick delivery. His ball all the way. Good technique displayed. And let's give credit. Well, the referee has decided that the injury is sufficiently serious for play to be stopped. Treatment required. Yes. 
So an uncontested drop ball after the injury. Committed challenge. Good movement. Straight forward for the keeper. And the referee has pointed to the spot. He's given the penalty. And now let's see if they can level it up. And into the book he goes too. Well, once he gave the penalty, he was always going to give him a yellow card. And now to level the game. And there it is, perfectly executed. Well, here it is again, and just watch the keeper. He stands still, hoping it's hit down the middle. Unfortunately for him, he's got it wrong. So back underway, they've levelled it at 1-1 here. Well, that's how to keep the opposition at bay. Well, they have the ball once more. And in with a real chance. It's got to be. And a goal it is to put them in front again. No less than they deserve. Well, as you can see, he doesn't mess about here, does he? He's strong, well-balanced and skillful. That's a top-class finish. So there we have it, 2-1. Pereira. And the referee has decided to award the free kick to PSG. Sliding in and winning the ball. Marta. Del Castillo. Now options are plenty. And going for goal. And no way to sugarcoat that one, Stuart. Well, sometimes it's worth having a shot from distance, but he never really set himself to hit that cleanly. Verratti. Ramos. Ferreira. Very alert defending to cut off the supply. Brilliant pass. Draxler. Oh, good hit. Close shave. Les Melou. Now, who can he play it to? 
Targets available, cross comes in. And the keeper's technical skills there for all to see. Well, from that close in, that's a really good save. Such good reflexes. Delivering it. Now keeper getting both gloves on the ball. The referee spotted the infringement and it will be a free kick in a position of genuine menace. Well, lacking a bit of inspiration with that free kick attempt. Well, lacking inspiration and lacking a bit of quality as well. That's a really poor effort. Verratti. Braxler now. Ramos. A danger here as he runs at them. Real chance. Oh, that is outrageously spectacular. Well, a flair for the dramatic to save. We'll be replaying that one over and over again for a long time to come. Well, here we see it again. Just look at that. It's a brilliant bit of skill and a magnificent goal. So back underway, 3-1 the score. Just the challenge that was required. Marco Asensio. Asensio. Well, approaching half-time on the home side, very much in charge here, Stuart. Your thoughts? Yeah, they're playing really well here. They've controlled the flow of the game, they've won their individual battles, and they've created numerous chances. They're oh, up... Stuart, they've got to score! And what a magical save it was! So the corner played into the box, and it wasn't taxing for the keeper. Marco Asensio. Skriniar. Ugarte. Ramos. Oh, that's splendid play. That is tackling of the highest order. Attacking possibilities for PSG. Simple for the keeper dealing with that long-range effort. Draxler being egged on by the crowd. Well, the keeper had a lot of ground to cover. Splendid save. And over comes the corner. Marco Asensio. Took a really smart piece of defending to stop them. Now well, the pressure being exerted. Over the top it goes to Julian Draxler. Takes the shot. Still could be dangerous. And he did what he had to do defensively. And so the half-time whistle has gone here at the Parc des Princes in Paris. Well, we're highlighting him for a reason. He's bossing the game. So back underway here into the second half. Unable to keep the ball that time.
Manuel Ugarte. Well, annoyingly giving it away. Del Castillo. Useful looking position, you've got to say. Good effort here. Well, after that attempt, gobbled up by the keeper. Well, it looked highly promising, but they got... After the foul, a chance to contemplate what is next and perhaps a goal from this free kick. Blocking it. And a chance to whip it in here. Can he find the net? Oh, he's blocked it. PSG looking dangerous. But a good piece of defending to bring it to an end. Well, slightly off target, and that'll be a throw-in. Now, failure to keep the ball there by Paris Saint-Germain. And no joy as far as the cross was concerned. Can they keep it out? Well, nothing comes of it. Hernandez. Verratti, good use of advantage in favour of PSG, real chance, well he didn't miss by an awful lot. And so 30 minutes left for play in this one. Clean challenge. Good technique displayed. It's got to be! Goalkeeper doing his job, getting the touch. Here it is now, a substitution. Let's see about the delivery. Under real pressure defensively, will they pay the price? And a really good diving stop. Can he finish here? Couldn't grab hold of it. Well, they can keep possession now. Draxler. Well, credit to the goalkeeper, because that was a terrific save just to keep their two-goal lead here. Oh, he needs to clear it here. Le Douaron. Now, can they hit them on the counter? He's in behind. And there is the goal! Well, that changes the equation, and they have the momentum now. Well, let's see this again. This is counter-attacking football at its very best. And there's certainly no doubt about the finish. He really hits it with power and accuracy. Nothing the keeper can do about that. And the ball is moving again. 3-2. And a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. Mounier. Marco Verratti. Ramos. 20 minutes to go. Will he play it in? Oh, such an elegant finish! How about that on the volley? 
A brilliant strike, whatever way you look at it. Well, here it is again. Just look at the quality of the cross. It's inch perfect, and he makes the finish look so easy. What a good goal that is. So the current scoreline, 4-2. Le Duaron. Mounier has it. It has to be! And disappointingly, not even close to hitting the target there. Yeah, he was looking to open up his body, guide it into the court. A complete miscue by the goalkeeper. Will there be a price to pay? A corner will ensue. Who can they pick out? Can he get one back? Oh, commanding goalkeeping. It's one corner after another. It might be. It could be up for grabs. Les Maru. Over it comes. And a super header. It looked as though it might be going in. Not a chance for them again to play it over from the corner flag. Real need to get rid of it. Marco Verratti. And he's through here. It has to be, surely. Oh, yes! It's gone in! And now a chance for them to revel in the moment. Well, just look at this again. The speed of counter-attack is so impressive, but there's still plenty to do from here. He hits it so well, though. Lots of pace, lots of power, and the keeper just can't react in time. It's a great strike. So back with the action, and PSG handing out a very harsh lesson here. Mounier. Mounier. Will he find the net? And there it is. A goal. But will it be purely a consolation at this stage of the proceedings? They haven't been at the best. Well, here it is again. And credit to the goal scorer. But you have to ask questions of the keeper. He's got to have that near post covered for me. No wonder he's frustrated with himself. Not the scoreline we see all that often. 5 3. Space afforded PSG. Didn't go as a plan in the end. Pereira. Here is Marco Asensio. Well, it's pass after pass, keeping their opponents thinking. Well, he did his best to place that one, but a disappointing end result. Well, in the closing phase here, and PSG excelling, Stuart. Well, I think the scoreline reflects the difference between the two teams. For most of the game, they've dictated the play, and they've created some really good chances. I think it's been an excellent performance. Draxler. And return to Verratti. Determined defending. Kamara. He has teammates around him, but it fizzles out thanks to that piece of defending. Okay, 
Well, the action is going to continue for a while yet. We will have four minutes of stoppage time. Ugarte. Well, a good tackle. Mounier. Gives it a go. Well, I was on the cusp of saying he's at it again. Look as though he might score again. Well, he's certainly looking sharp today. That could easily have been his second there. Well, the keeper wanted to take it cleanly and did. Giving the ball away. And there's the final whistle, and we can confirm a victory for Paris Saint-Germain. What did you think of their overall display? Well, they weren't totally convincing, but they showed a lot of fight. And despite having less of the ball, they had enough quality to win this game. Good performance in the end. His performance in this particular game will have impressed many people, Stuart. Well, I have to say, that was impressive. Not just his goals, but his all-round play. He was excellent. Well, they have the ball once more.